Explain to me the ending of the Tennessee-Georgia game. If somebody didn't see it, how would you sum it up? And and can I give credit to good coaching, or do I give more blame to bad coaching? Well, I think there's a lot to be taught off the end of that game. Film, okay? First of all, you know, Jim Chaney, the coordinator for Georgia, knows better than to drop a freshman quarterback back into your end zone and take a sack fumble there to give Tennessee the lead. But the reason you travel, even if you're in Athens, Georgia, to the state of Washington, which I think might be uh, in terms of distance as far as you can go in the continental United States, is for a strong-arm guy like Jacob Eason. They were in cover two. Now, if you'll recall the Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl run, Joe Flacco had third and forever against the Denver Broncos. My old UCLA safety, Raheem Moore, was in cover two. And all of a sudden, cover two doesn't have enough for when you're sending guys down the field. And uh, the tight end had been the the most favorite target, so the safety bit on the tight end. And all of a sudden, that guy just ran all the way down the field and and touched down Georgia. Ten seconds left. We're all scratching our heads. How did this happen? The hobnail boot. Larry Munson, somewhere up in the (laughs) heavens, talking about, uh, they kicked me with a hobnail boot. (laughs) And then... 20 yards of penalties, Yeah, a guy taking his helmet off, which is ridiculous because it was celebra- celebration type thing, but 15 yards there, five yards for being offsides, and a, and a kick that I don't understand. Tennessee was lined up as if it was going to be an onside kick. I know. I'm like, what are you doing? And they get the heck of a return, four seconds left on the clock, in a place where they can throw a Hail Mary. And Georgia puts a deep, their tallest guy, Jenkins, back there, number seven, but he's seven yards deep, Dan. Somebody needs to tell him that the touchdown counts when he gets over that goal line. He doesn't need to be seven <laughs> yards deep. And they don't even make a play in this, this Jawan Jennings, the next big thing at Tennessee, who had the touchdown against Florida the week before, goes up and snatches it before anybody can touch it for Georgia. So there's lots to teach off uh, Hail Mary defense, but uh, you talk about just pure passion. Uh, that, that, that game was wild and uh, everything you could imagine. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.